Hi, I'm Karina, and today I'm going to walk through the solar panel tool in SDK. The solar panel tool is part of our SAT Pro module and allows you to look at the power generation based off of specified solar panels on your satellite's model. In my scenario here, I have a CubeSat, a 1U CubeSat. This is our GLTF model that was new with 11.6, so it's really pretty. You can see it has those reflections in there, much more realistic. And you can see the specified solar panels on each of the six edges. So we have five of the sides of our CubeSat, all with these two solar panels. And then the solar panel or the edge of the CubeSat that is pointing up to space, it's actually six smaller solar panels. So you can see it's only on half of the CubeSat's face. I've also turned on the body axes of my CubeSat, so X, Y, Z as well as a vector to the sun. And what I'm gonna do is use our solar panel tool to analyze the generated power that we're able to receive from the sun and based off the incident angle and all of the defined solar panels on my CubeSat. To open that up, I can right click the CubeSat, go to satellite, and then solar panel. And this will pop up my solar panel tool. So in this first window, this is just showing me right now from the viewpoint of the sun, if we're looking down, shining onto our CubeSat, what is the solar panels or which solar panels are going to be generating power or collecting that power from the sun. So the red just kind of shows that simulated solar panel on our CubeSat's two faces. In the properties window, here I can actually specify if I have any obscuring objects. Right now I don't have anything else in this scenario, so of course I don't have anything. But I want to choose all of my solar panel groups. So in this case we've specified each of the faces of our CubeSat as a plus or minus X, Y, or Z. So I'm interested in the power generation of all six of these solar panel groups. I've highlighted all of them. And I'm going to analyze this over my entire scenario period. So just to make this a little easy, I just did a few hours for my scenario, time step of 60 seconds, and I'm going to output the power generated. So I'm going to click Compute and let this go through. And I can just show you guys both what's happening on the left is our 3D graphics window. That's just running through that full scenario period, and as well as the solar panel view over on the right here. That's just showing us the exposed solar panels to the sun as our CubeSat is orbiting the Earth. So pretty quick, just again, I did a few hours and now it's complete. I can go through and just very simply generate a report or graph directly in the solar panel tool. For visualization purposes, I'm gonna pull up a graph just to show you guys the information that was collected from that quick computation. So first off, you can see kind of a pattern. There's four peaks of data that was collected. And you can probably guess that in these gaps here, that's actually when our CubeSat was being eclipsed by the Earth. So of course it was behind the, behind the Earth, so it wasn't generating any kind of sun. So if I kind of jump to that certain point, you can see of course during that time, that's when my CubeSat was in the nighttime. But I can also kind of jump to some of these big peaks here. So maybe looking at this first one, this pink peak, I can see that the pink in the graph, so this peak right here, is associated with our plus X solar panel group. The graphs and reports in SDK are all interactive. So if you guys didn't know, you can right click anywhere in the graph and you can choose set animation time and that's gonna jump you right to that specific point in your animation. So really quick and easy way to compare the analysis to the visualization. And I can see, of course, my sun vector and my sun is pointing directly pretty much right along that plus X body axis. So that's where most of my power is being generated from that side of the CubeSat. And then the last thing I want to point out here is just this peak that's showing the kind of lower light blue peak. 
So we can see the same pattern as our CubeSat's orbiting. It's just a two-body propagator, so there's no other forces. But if I look at this blue peak right here, this is associated with our minus Z solar panel side. And the reason that that peak is not hitting quite as high as our other ones is because, as you can see here, it is the side of the solar panel, or I'm sorry, the side of the CubeSat that is only on half of the CubeSat side. So it's not able to generate quite as much power as the other sides. On top of the graph that we're able to generate, we can also go in and look at a report of the generated power. So I can just look at this report and see things like how much power is actually being generated over the CubeSat's entire orbit. And so we're able to pull this information out in visual graphs as well as analytical reports. Thanks.